Do you, this next study I find interesting. We posted it on Facebook. I didn't get a whole lot of response. I haven't checked it in a little while. Men experience more emotional pain from a breakup than a woman does. I just don't, I wish this was true. I can see that look of skepticism. <laughs> I wish it I know was what true. Do you like, think I'm it's true? I'm fine, I just move on. You know, I, I don't know. So the, they did this study and they actually based it on sort of therapy sessions and talk sessions with people post breakup. And it seemed that the men were being more open about their pain and such. And I wonder if that's because of the way that the study was conducted in that perhaps these men were not speaking about it with their previous partner or with their guy friends or with their family, but once in the safe and you know vulnerable place of a therapist office, uh -huh. then they were able to reveal it, whereas perhaps women speak about it more openly to other people so they don't need it as much in therapy. Well, somehow. that's exactly true. If a guy has gotten to a point in their life where they're seeking a therapist, they are finally confronting not just that breakup that's just happened mm -hmm. but they're probably unpacking and unearthing a lot of emotional pain that goes back to their childhood because mm -hmm. men listen we don't process things in real time and in the right way we try to be stoic right I don't think I've lived my life that way but I know a lot of men mm -hmm. it's, it's how we're socialized it's the gender it's the gender expectations and women are you got you all are so good at emoting and processing and dealing yeah. and you and you have women in your life who will hear you Whereas men True. don't really have that. Yes, sure. True. And it, and it depends on, oh my gosh, it depends on so many different <laughs> things. Music. Thank you, Manny, for the music. I know, right. <laughs> it, just, it depends on so many things, but don't you think it took you until a little bit later in life to even be able to do that, even as somebody mm -hmm. who's comfortable with emotions? Absolutely, because there are things you just don't want to confront or talk about, or you don't want to acknowledge when something's bothering you. And yet, there are a lot of men, I just had this revelation as uh -huh. I'm listening to this song. Um, <laughs> See, it worked, the song. There worked. are a lot of men, especially country music singers, male country music singers, uh, uh, who sing a lot about heartbreak yes. and break up. True. Mm -hmm. And think about all the men that they're helping helping with those songs, too. Because think about it, they probably wouldn't be in touch with their feelings if they had not heard the lyrics and paid attention to mm -hmm. riding in the pickup truck. I also think it tells you that... <laughs> what song is that, yo? <laughs> I don't know, but... <laughs> She's... <laughs> every country song has a pickup truck. Yeah. You lose your wife, your house, your dog, and your pickup truck. Come on, truck. now. Oh. And then you have a drink. Then you lose your woman. And then you have some whiskey. There you that, go. There's the your country the song right there. women are out there singing about fancy. <laughs> so, you know. Fancy, don't let me down. Exactly. Um, so that is our morning after express question of the day. Are you buying into this? I would love to hear from men if you're able to admit it. Do you think you have in the past suffered more emotionally from a breakup than you've been able to admit or wanted to admit or even talked about? Do you move forward and put on a good front and put on a good face?